Oh no, we didn't actually go live. Oh, that sucks. All right, I am so... Hang on, hang on, hang on. And I can't, like, restart the segment. I'm so sorry to the YouTube folks. Uh, apparently, YouTube has two buttons to press before you truly are live. And apparently, I did not hit the second button. It's hard out there. <laughs> Yo, Retrobation, thank is you for that. Number right? I, I hope it is. If it's not, I'm going to just treat that as a... um. Echo. As a V, here you go for <laughs> messing up when going live. Alright. Anyway. So, curse incentive, right? What that does... Why'd I get two javelins? What that does is that the map has cursed monsters on it. See how I get an instant stun? See, that's a cursed monster. Um, the monsters curse you, as they should, as anything should, really. But all the weapons on this map are going to be higher level than what they're supposed to be. And then also, the chance of a cursed chest spawning is increased by some number. Maybe it's like 10% or something. I think it's more than that. But you end up with not only like stronger stats, but it's like a fun way to play Dead Cells. Like I'm not choosing to go to Dracula's castle. I'm almost saying game, tell me where to go. I have enough to think about. You come home from a hard day at work. The last thing I'm going to do is think about what biome to choose. Now, of course, if death is very likely for you, you can skip the curses. You you don't have to go there. Um, on difficulties below 5 BC, there is always one map that is not cursed. Like, out of the different choices. Wow, I could go to the boss right now? That is really strange that it spawned right there. Isn't it supposed to be at the top? I mean, I like it because what that means is that you won't know where the exit is if you skip that, which is like incentive to full clear the map. But I've never seen Black Bridge just spawn in the center of the level. I'm getting a phone call from Comcast. <laughs> All right, if I lose my stream, expected to have something to do with that phone call from Comcast. Doing that while cursed was a really bad idea. Um, let's actually take this. Victims freeze when they hit you. Um, that way, if I get fight for your life, it'll be a lot easier for me to clear it. Yo, Taupo, good to see you. Now, of course, getting multi-hit by that spitty guy, that will not protect you with Fight for Your Life. But see how I use the uh, War Javelin as like a stun? I don't really use it as a speedrun item. I use it purely for utility. Um, it also works with Nutcracker, which is one of my favorite, like, off-color branded things. Obviously, the War Javelin is what's off-color. You don't off-color a Nutcracker. Alright, sick. Nice head. The game came up with this. Now, unfortunately, I think it's bugged. We're, we're using random heads, and it's not gonna change. Unfortunately. Um, maybe I'll report that. Maybe. What was that Beyblade monster? That's a monster in the Dracula's castle. 
Ewer? Is that the name of it? It's the literal Castlevania monster. Um, if you've never played a Castlevania game, I would highly recommend Rondo of Blood. I know people always say, B, you gotta play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. SOTN is by far the quintessential Castlevania game. But I dare say, if you've never played a single one of them, play Rondo of Blood. Um, what's new in this update? We are in a... Not a new area, but the area is buffed. You'll see new monsters very, very soon. How? Who aggroed this? Why does my knife dance do no damage? Did you all see that? I tickled the harpy and that's not a good thing. Now, I said, like, there's gonna be new monsters. Just keep an eye out on it. Like, what if there will be no new monsters? What if I already killed them all? All right, we got our 60. That was a good knife dance. I wonder what the difference was. random alien all right so what's different is that there are buffs to maps and it shows you what the buff is see that's a new monster right there but i can't let it live because it will kill me <laughs> um there are buffs to the map that include adding very dangerous monsters in order to buff your weapon or the weapon in the shop there's another new monster that monster will curse me when I kill it. Oh, snap. All right. It froze itself and then fell off and it didn't curse me for it. That's legit. Five things I wish I knew, Dead Cells Edition. Just don't even attack it. It'll kill itself. You all ever look at the red stuff around the elites? That's like kind of gross, right? Reminds me of... Carrion. Carrion's the game, right? The one where you play as a tentacle monster. And it's a Metroidvania. Twins. I had a feeling it would be twins. All right, not bad. We use the power of War Javelin. Stun the monster, keep it on the ground. And end up being easy peasy. If you're just now tuning in, welcome. We didn't start up the YouTube live stream at the right time, so I apologize for that. Uh, but right now we're only in like the third biome or so. We just finished prison, corrupted prison, almost at prison depths. Um, to give you another idea, we are only in the third pillar right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six pillars left before the end of the game. Now, because I went into Dracula's castle early, I can't go into here later, but what I can do is fight Dracula from Hypey Castle, if I wanted to. No bonus curse, I'm surprised. Oh! <laughs> I've upgraded. <laughs> I've upgraded my off-color item. That's huge. Now, do you ever swap off the four times damage dealt Frantic Sword? Doing 20,000 damage. I don't know if you can.
on what planet does something out DPS this? All right, um, we will go to. I wish I could see what the incentives are after the boss. I feel like this should be super easy. I just don't think he gets stunned by the war javelin. Concierge would though. Is this live or a replay? Full moon sword coming from YouTube. How can I prove to you that this is live? So we have quad on this. Flaming trail. Bonus to burning target, which is interesting. I don't know if you can actually catch death on fire because he's flying. If he never touches the ground, how do you get flaming trail on him? Wait, can you skip this? Oh, it caught me. Uh, now, unfortunately, fight for your life is not going to help me here, but I do have recovery. So recovery should be pretty decent. Yo, Randy, good to see you. Oh, we changed. Shout out to all my Risk of Rain return players. All two of you in my chat. All right, so we'll try to get the flame first. He is on fire. He is not getting stunned, unfortunately. I'm playing out of my mind right now. Oh, that was way too close. Knife dance for the blades? Come on now. V, where's the death guide? Everything you need to know to get the no hit on death. I just recorded it for you just now. Knife dance for the sickles. Flaming trail does work, even though he flies. It's very weird. Telluric shock to dodge the orbs. And then you chase. What happened with Gilded Yumi? Gilded Yumi's still good. We actually did... Our last YouTube live stream was a viewer build that actually used Gilded Yumi. Recently got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after a long time and built a Menadium deck. You love the lore for the cards? Will you bring some Yu-Gi-Oh! content to your channel? So, I would love to, but I feel like... I have to be very particular about it. I can't just say, oh, after Dead Souls, we're going to do Yu-Gi-Oh. It's got to be like a little better segue. Um, let's pay out chat. As I said, oh, I probably didn't say it for YouTube. So over on Twitch, we have a few bells and whistles. Right now, the Twitch viewers are betting. I should say bet. They're predicting what the um, melee shield range. Yeah, they're predicting what legendary shows up next. Yeah, sorry. Today is not the viewer build, but if you want to see it, it's exclamation point BOTD. I believe that was Robin's viewer build. This is, like, actually good, just to say that. And I can go ammo mutation. It, like, the only thing that sucks about it is that there's nothing in the brutality tree that actually helps this. So let's take a, um... Let's take a quick look. 
So, I mean, you could use something like Porky Pack with the times four damage. Vengeance, I guess, helps, but Scheme does not, Predator does not, no open wounds, no melee, no killer instinct, no initiative, no frenzy, no combo, no adrenaline. I want to say if you take times four damage in the backpack, it doesn't actually hurt you. So suffice to say, I am fully willing to swerve here. Because this is incredibly strong with ammo. Do I want cooldown reduction? I could take cooldown reduction or I could take networking. The advantage of networking is like I could throw it past the first monster. It'll grind up the next monster and then kill the one that's in front of me. Which I think is like super decent. Worst case scenario, we just swap off of it, right? That's crazy. I'm still stuck on 1 BC. That's just a matter of time. That's all that is. Poison's the enemy. This got really interesting. All right, triple the boomerangs, triple the pogs. Do I have any news on the update coming out? I do not, unfortunately. I don't know anything more than you all will. Not a big fan of Slumbering Sanctuary. Do I even need the money? I mean, we're going into every incentivized map, so maybe I have to go here for the sheer segment. You thought ammo mutation didn't work on cross? On this update that you're looking at right now, ammo works on everything except for Gilded Yumi. Because they felt that Gilded Yumi perhaps is a little too strong. All right, let's get the curse. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. Not yet. Like, it's... It, this needs some getting used to. Yeah, ammo now works with Boyax. Boyax, Boomerang. Not War Javelin. No, it does. I have two. Look at that. It actually works. Wow. I wonder if you could like legitimately kill monsters with that. Huh. Please, sir, uh, may I have nine monsters? Easy ones. How's the outfit keep changing? We're using custom mode settings for randomized outfits and random heads, but unfortunately random head does not work right now. Well, it's not that it doesn't work. It's as soon as you get... Oh, that doesn't go the whole distance? As soon as you get a head... No. As soon as you get a map that does not have... No, 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 no. I'm trying to think of the best way to word it. As soon as you get a costume like this one, this costume does not allow for a custom head. You no longer get random heads. And it's probably a bug. And I probably have to report it myself. Because I don't know if anyone has tried what I have been doing. Um, I'm not going to say that this is worse. It's certainly different than what we were doing before with a four times damage weapon. And technically, I still have it. Oh, let's do the roll. Hmm. 
I'm not crying. You're crying. My build's fine. This is busted right here. The new is it busted vid. We're recording it live. I just need a shield and I think I'll be fine. Nice golem. Every golem gets a war javelin. All right, I don't know how to make this any better. <laughs> um, Serenade wouldn't be half bad. You don't run out of ammo with Cross. Cat wouldn't be half bad. Because, like, I need stuff doing things that I don't have to really manipulate it. Fire grenade. Not a big fan of the cluster. Holy water, I'm not a big fan of either, but that might be okay for bosses. Let's chill. Keep it going. Now, Slumbering Sanctuary, not really a map I like to be on if I can help it. Is War Javelin in the shopkeeper's hand? That's the Dead Cells hidden lore right there. Little Dead Cells Easter egg. Dang, I shouldn't have done that. I thought I could stop it with War Javelin. Would help if I had my cat out. You love the cat? It's really cool. It's definitely one of the better items from the Castlevania DLC. Not that any of them are particularly bad. But when I see cat, I often take it. Unlucky. Whoa! What am I doing down here? Alright, so... The extra ammo on the War Javelin's actually kind of screwing me up a little bit. It's like, I want to do one stun and then teleport onto it, and I am just screwing that up. That's not half bad. Elite? I missed. All right. What does this update add? Do we have a command for that? Twitch chat, can you all try exclamation point? Huh. <laughs> I probably don't. I, I should make one. But anyway, the update adds like new incentives besides just the money incentive for maps. It's a curse incentive with enemies that will curse you. Couple new weapons, a lot of new mutations, as a matter of fact. Six shield. Um, some stuff seems very strong. I can't say for sure that anything is OP. But there's some really nice stuff out there. It's also like a very fun way to play Dead Cells where like you're trying to go to whatever the incentive is. 
They did nerf skeleton damage as well as add new ways to get to the Castlevania maps. Yeah, come on. You know you want to get stunned by this door. Don't even act like you don't want to get stunned by the door. All right. I've been watching your content for a while because you made it to fight BC, beat stuff, no hit giant, no hit conjunctivious. Thank you for the amazing content. You're saying you've done all that stuff. Yo, good job, George. I'm hoping to carry some of that energy in my own run today. Dang, is it weird that I would love to be able to turn off the ammo just for the javelin? It's like kind of screwing with me a little bit. It's just like a gameplay feel. Bladed Tomfa, no thank you. I mean, technically it's working. I almost wonder if you go hemorrhage with this setup. It's just like I throw both javelins, I teleport in, I don't even remember where those javelins are going anymore. It's like I can memorize one of them, but now that there's two, it's like it's random to me. Okay, let's head up. Why was the enemy speaking? Sometimes it just has a lot to say. Fire blast in the backpack. I think we'll stick with the porky pack. There's the hemorrhage. We're gonna lose the javelin tech. I think is okay. We have poison on cross. I'm trying to think of like good things to put in the backpack or porky pack. Backpack a Spartan sandal. It does. It doesn't do like a big bump, but it does bump. Just because eventually I won't have low health, so I gotta consider not having that anymore. All right. Chats, I know this looks like tactics. I promise you this is the least tactics build I have ever played in my life. Like, if you look at this and you see tactics, I, I don't know what to tell you. Clearly, there's a melee mutation in use right now. Would I get rid of it if I had the chance? Maybe. But you can't just assume it's going to be full range with all tactics mutations. You got to give me <laughs> a bit of the doubt here. This is so brutal. Wow, this is like actually kind of working with the hemorrhage. Goaded cereal? Hey, Moy, that's a good question. And this is not a hashtag ad. Um, but I actually always have frosted mini wheats on deck in the house. Sometimes I'll eat them dry because it's kind of easy to just toss them in a sandwich bag, take them with you on the bus. You can have just a couple bites of Frosted mini wheats, and they're like good flavors too. Blueberry, strawberry, maple. Probably healthier than tricks or lucky charms. I almost said probably healthy. <laughs> There's a lot of scam cereals out there though. Things like Cookie Crisp. Or Captain Crunch. 
feel like you lose money for buying those. Like you could have bought really anything else and made out better. I might have to use the health pot. I'm I'm missing a piece of food. There's a piece of food somewhere in a wall that I never saw. And like, I don't think it could be up there. And quite frankly, I don't feel like running around to find it. A uh, cavern incentive. Not really the best place for this build. Good against the giant, but none of these monsters can really get stunned, which is really, really what I need. All right. Yo, Almonds, good to see you. Is it possible to get Serenade without tutorials? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go to Fractured Shrine once or twice, you'll just get it. Poison the enemy flashing fans. I think this does reflect projectiles. But I think it has to be like during an attack. It's very weird. We just know we aren't getting the quadruple damage crit anymore. I just screwed up. Please tell me the hemorrhage is still here. It's not there. I just screwed up. I did not mean to sell the hemorrhage like that. All right. Him. You have to, right? Level 15 item on the table. You can't not go here. Now I really wish I had that hemorrhage. We may have to skip the curse first. See what the mimic has. Or at least what the weapon has. Is the bank cursed? We'll certainly find out. Can you all see her? What's she doing? So the maximum level thing is going to be level 14. If this map is truly cursed, the Mimic could have a level 15 item. Wait, is this sick? The only issue is like, if I'm going to hit them with flashing fans, why not just use the flashing fans? Why bother throwing the, the crosses first? All right, it seems safe enough. Remember when I said don't take the curse first, instead go to get the high-powered weapon? I'm not doing that. <laughs> we could have gotten real fake tactics just now. Any idea when this update will drop? Sorry, I have no info. I wish I did, though. Relax, people, relax. I really want to swap my melee weapon and my ranged weapon. I never have them backwards like this. I feel like if I changed it, somehow I'll lose all of my, like, brain power. It's like everything I've learned up to now revolves around having that. Oh God. But like, I also know this is how I normally play Dead Cells is melee on X or square ranged on triangle. We're fine, right? Don't do it. Don't do the curse or don't change my items around. All right, let's head up. Uh, 
Uh, it's not too bad. I can kind of push them into it. Oh, you know what we need? We need Spartan Sandals. That's the real push. This is fake push. Ooh, maybe I should have taken Parting Gift. So I could knock back my own grenades. Well, not really grenades. It's the Parting Gift bombs. But you all get the idea. Oops. Wait, this is real and legitimate damage. You play with Souls controls? I've seen a couple people who put all of their attacks on shoulder buttons. Um... Whenever I play with a controller, I'm really only using my index finger. Like, I very rarely use my middle finger. Even if I'm, like, mad at somebody. Mimic check? What would we want to see? Mimic serenade? Mimic cleaver? Mimic kitty cat. Wait, I still have my cat. All right. Chat, what level you all think this weapon is? So take a look at my stuff right now. My highest level item is level 10. What level do you think this weapon is? Just type the number in the chat. I'm supposed to be able to do free memberships on YouTube and it like doesn't work for me. I'm going to have to like reach out and figure out how to do it. Memberships are basically like um subs like subs on Twitch. <laughs> Why is it asking me to join my own channel? It feels like that's the issue. It's like I'm not logged in, sorta. I don't know what that is. All right. Let's see what people got. What is it? Level 14? I thought it was gonna be level 15. I thought this was a cursed incentive. Level 14 was normal. We got screwed. I don't want this crap. I have two cats already. What am I going to do with the third cat? <laughs> I only have two hands. How can I pet three cats at the same time? Oh my god. portable devs <laughs> to be fair if this was a curse incentive in the bank you would probably die the bank a lot more often because what that means is that there's monsters on the map that will curse you besides the curse chest and like dealing with the curse chest by itself is already pretty bad so like imagine you're fighting a gold gorger and all of a sudden you get cursed out of nowhere I guarantee someone's gonna complain about that. And by someone, I mean me. Hey, at least we know. Yo, Vikirda, good to see you. How do you get new heads? This is only a beta on the PC right now. This is not a uh, pub. Not to say it's not public, it is public. But this is not available to uh, just anybody. <laughs> I shouldn't say that either. All right, you have to be on PC. It is not on console. It is not on mobile. Out here talking like I have some kind of <laughs> privilege or something. All right. We do have a command though, for those who are on PC. Uh, Twitch chat, can you all do exclamation point alpha, please? Alpha has a tutorial 
on how to access the beta branch on PC. And by PC, I mean Steam, not GOG or Epic Game Store. Pick up the key first? Wow. I didn't know it did that. Oh, snap. Map design dev. They made it so that you don't skip the key by hitting the teleporter too fast. That's really cool. You're on PC, how do you unlock them? Each head has a little quest to it, almost like the crossover stuff, the crossover skins. If I see Spartan Sandals. Bruh, button. The show controller or else scripted content. No one, I can guarantee you, no one in this chat has used this build before. This is just a world premiere build. Spartan Sandals with Legendary Cross? Don't act like you've played this build before. I don't know you're lying. This is exclusive. If the monster gets too close, you give him these size 12s to the face. If you don't wear a size 12, do whatever. They'll figure it out. But basically, like, we can kick the monster into the cross. It's almost like map design dev. Did I sell the fans? Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm sorry. Like, I have this stuff already in my brain, and I'm well beyond Porky Pack at this point. Do I do fire? No. We're cooking. This is not a tactics build. I have Spartan sandals. This is not tactics. Alright, uh, we're going up, right? Yeah, sorry, I have streamer brain sometimes. Where I'm like, I'm already well beyond what just happened three seconds ago. That's not good! Sheesh! I got stunned from that distance? That was like a curb I jumped down. Are you gonna tell me that that's so far I'm gonna get stunned? How do you find hemorrhage? It's a 5 BC weapon. Um, only available in the 5 BC biome. A little bit of Celeste. Shout out to all my Maddie and Baddie fans out there. I only just learned that the alternate character's name is Baddie. I thought people made that up. Ooh, that was way too close. I would not mind a Celeste skin in Dead Cells. I think that'd be really nice. Like, we already have Sophia and um, Maria as, like, sort of models to go off of. Not using that. So if they want to do another like indie dev crossover for Dead Cells, um, people have said Gungeon, I would love Celeste. Ooh, chat, what other games could they do? D show seed or else it's cheating. You think I know how to show a seed?
Did I pass it? Ah, oh, okay. Spelunky? But which character do you use from Spelunky? Do you use the daughter? Or do you use the, the guy? The, the father? Um, Rain World. I played Rain World Downpour. I don't want to be toxic, but I'd say it's not for me. Oh, look at that kick. That size 10 Tim. Oh, not really Tim's. These are more like new balances. But you all get the idea. This is the same idea. Zagreus in Dead Cells. Be a guy to have Zag in Dead Cells. All right, I could see that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But what's the weapon? Because like you have to have a weapon to go along with it, right? Oh, you didn't transform. There it is. Neon Abyss. The the twin stick shooter? Do people like that game? I haven't played it since early access. I feel like all the stuff that's in the crossover updates are all like beloved games. And again, I'm not being toxic, I just don't know where Neon Abyss lands. Oh, did the flashing fans knock away the bomb? No way. Wait, I crit. But I can't knock away this bullet. Oh my God, it knocked away the bullet. Wait, since when did it do that? Porky pack? No, not porky pack. Armadillo pack who? Chat, I have 2,000 hours in this game. I see new stuff every single time I played it. Not even joking. Dead Cells crossover? We already have, uh, oh my god. There's Ichigo, Orohime. Chat, what's the black haired girl's name? I don't watch Bleach. Someone in chat knows it. Flashing fans busted. This might be plus one on the tier list. Rukia, see, it's, it's easy. You know what? All right, so the best part about live streaming content, and like, to be fair, I do feel like this type of stuff is gonna be sort of like the next level of the internet. Like everyone's just streaming and playing games for their friends and stuff like that. It's also like a good way to gain knowledge. Like you can't imagine the amount of information flow that you get just from like people answering a question. Am I really doing this? And just taking acrobatic pack? That's so wrong. That's like so sad. But it seems perfect to me. I could go hemorrhage here. Um, but I think I'll get more value off of acrobatic pack um Laser Glade. Forgot the name of it because I don't play the Archer. Really new to Dead Cells? It was cool to see the Terraria Star Fury. Really neat component. Yeah, I would love to figure out, like, not only the other indie games to add, but what are the weapons? Or mutations. I'll take a mutation. Buy Potion Charge? I could have. Um, I guess there's no real reason not to because the build does seem kind of locked in, but I keep buying new stuff. Ooh. 
And it's not like a, a mental thing or anything like that. I just, I want to show you all different potentials in the game. I'm not getting distracted. Poison damage. I feel like I don't even need ammo at this point. This is not a tactics build, by the way. I have Spartan Sandals. This is definitely the giant with um, both cross and a uh, lightning glaive do very well here. Yo, look at this costume. I feel like the game is actually pairing the palettes together. This is so nice. We got to think character design dev. This is sick. All right. There's a small flaw in the... Oh, no, we go up here. Wait, that was legit. I was going to say, there's a, a small flaw in my setup here. But we figured it out. Yeah, we don't even need the kick up. This is a brutality build, though. It's just in this instance, kick was not required. That's all. Yo! More brutality. <laughs> All of these good melee weapons. And here I am with Spartan Sandals. You love to see it. What's the problem with the tactics? There's no problem with the tactics. We played brutality today. So I had to choose a very brutality build. Could you play this as tactics? I mean, maybe. Would I be using the same mutations? Eh. Possibly. I, I can't guarantee that. Legendary. Legendary Sinu Slicer. Victims bleed spread. I'm not, like, super interested in this. It's not bad. Like, it's probably better than my knife dance because I'm not really all that close range. Poison Synergy. I guess we can take it. It's okay against Hand the King. He just destroys it very easily. Um, Servants is very good there. Dracula is going to miss in phase two. Incentivize Biome. Shipwreck. I know you all wanted to see Servants. I could smell it. What do I think about Baseball Bat? It's a fun item. I don't use it all the time because I prefer variety whenever I play the game. Um, if it shows up, I'm not guaranteed to take it, but if I needed it, I would. Would I consider heavy crossbow cheating? No. Because there's some bosses that don't really care. Like servants, queen. I mean, queen, you can fight a decent amount with it, but she does so many attacks, you gotta be pretty mechanically in tune. Where's Cross? Cross is in the Castlevania DLC. Um, I don't know which monster it drops off of, but if you go to my YouTube channel, we have a all Castlevania drops video. And it'll show which one gives the Cross. Surprisingly, that vid is one of my most viewed on YouTube. Very, very nice. Dave the Diver? The classic indie game, Dave the Diver? I mean, hey, I'll take whatever. If they want to add Hunk from Resident Evil, I'll play it. 
I don't really care if it's indie or not. If, if they want to add Jury from Street Fighter, you know someone's going to play it. 100%. Um, the random skin is a 3.5 feature? No. Um, random heads is. But random skin you can play on mobile. You all see that kick into the cross? That's the build. Um, now, does this work against servants? I have no idea. I'd rather have hemorrhage, actually. And the acrobatic pack. So let's keep an eye out for it. It's like we have to consider that Laser Glaive won't always activate in the servant fight. And then once we get to Queen, it's not going to do anything at all. So ideally, we want that to be hemorrhage. Sorry if I miss the chat, by the way. Um, chat scrolling a little bit. Which is a good problem to have. I wish I could give you all the gift memberships. YouTube said, V, you can do five free gift memberships for your community, and I can't figure out how to do it. Oh, there's the incentivized monster. That thing doesn't actually hurt you, but it can curse you. I wonder if I should have taken Fight for Your Life. Like, just in case. Crown and Aces. We do have Risk of Rain 2 content. Look at his backpack. You know, I would do Risk of Rain 2 more often, but, and this is no offense to anyone in my own chat, I kind of consider Risk of Rain 2 a party game. Sort of like a Smash Brothers. And like, obviously there's people who play competitive Smash Brothers, just as much as there's people who do competitive Risk of Rain in terms of like pushing the clips. But I just, it doesn't hit for me. If I were to play a game like that, I think I'd rather play Gunfire Reborn. Which, by the way, Gunfire Reborn had an update just um, two days ago. That just added a battle pass, basically. They call it Season 1. It's like content, skins, icons... A lot of unlockables. Oh wow, if there were spikes down there, I would have been super dead. Nice dodge! Oh my god, this thing's playing Tekken 8! It backstepped the cat and then tried to super jump over me. Unfortunately, they don't have super jump in Tekken 8. You gotta play an anime fighter for that. Maybe some Grand Blue. I'm so sad that they still haven't bought Gunfire Reborn to Switch. Huh, I wonder why. I figured that would be a great game to have on Switch. Alright, we're cursed. Always play as if any monster will kill you. And, like, that is the case, but, like, don't think that your build is so OP that you won't die. Dead Cells knows how to kill a player. I can guarantee you. I wonder if I swap off... Cat. For Servants. It's probably fine as is. Is Tekken out, out already? No, I think it's... Is it January 26th or is it February? Blaze would know. Actually, a lot of people would know. I think Marzi would know. Look at 
Look at this build. Never before seen world premiere build. Spartan Sandals, Murder Bridge. Cross with ammo mutation. I think I'm gonna take this. We're gonna go from 13,000 health to 17,000. I don't think the one point of brutality is gonna make the difference if I kill the boss or not. But I can tell you 4,000 HP might make a difference. Eddie Gordo back in Tekken 8, baby. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's good or not, but because you like it, I'm going to say that's a good thing. I've never played a single Tekken a day of my life. Sorry, Blaze. We were asking, is Tekken 8 released on the 26th of January, or is it in February? I don't know why I have the 26th, like in my brain right now as an important date. Cross doing work. Ah, uh, if I actually kicked it and it bounced into the cross, that would have been so sick. Okay, star up top. I don't think we care for the chest. Unless it was curse, but even then, like, would I risk a curse this late in the run? Maybe not. So we're gonna go for the star. Try to get a hemorrhage. And then we should be good from here. Is Dead Cells my favorite game? So I'm gonna say no, and here's the reason why. I am like big on nostalgia. If you all were to tell me V will gift you 100 subs right now to play Sonic Adventure 2, I'd say I don't even need the 100. I'll do it for free. And that's because like the games that like made me, I guess, are almost unbeatable. I really don't want to fight that cursed monster. So it's like, I can't... Ideally, I can't really have any game that was made in the last five years in my top five, except for Returnal and Description. Those are the only exceptions. And again, that's not to say that Dead Cells is bad, because I have... This is the game I have the most hours in. Wow, what a health drop. On Steam. But, like, I, I can't say it's my favorite. Because other games are just too impactful for me. Emotionally. And that's not to say that Dead Cells is not emotionally impactful. It's changed my life, pretty much. So many captains. It's the nostalgia talking. It's it's just too difficult for me to let go. Yo, Avenging Angel first time chatter. Tekken 8 premium collection is $270. Is that battle pass season? Not season, um character pack. What else would you want besides Battle Pass and Character Pack? I don't think that's a hundred dollars worth of content. Oh, 110. My bad. Forgot the conversion, I guess. All right. Let's dig for a new ranged weapon. I'm going to buy this just in case nothing shows up. Ac 
Acrobatic Pack, Fire Blast. I think that's the hit. Just like that. Probably better than Firebrand. Yeah, because we can't guarantee Hemorrhage shows up, so we had to buy now. Go to 100 with the food. Most anticipated game of the year for you is Windblown. I wish I could get you all on the uh, Blaze Blue Entropy Effect and Oblivion Override Train. Maybe like if I presented the game a little more strongly, you all would see. Especially Oblivion Override. I think that game is like kind of a sleeper hit. Blaze Blue, I think, is going to get some good reception regardless, but Oblivion Override is going to have to work harder because it's an, it's an indie title. So pretty much it's uphill no matter what. Cat, Sinu Slicer, this is fine. If you were to pick one weapon for another crossover update, what would come to mind? I would love to see something like one of the Zagreus' shields. I think Chaos Shield is basically Laser Glaive. So I'm thinking Beowulf Shield, like the actual charging one. We have Assault Shield, but Assault Shield charge doesn't really do anything. I would love to see a shield that you actually charge it up, you like run into the monster, the monster just like pops. And then you're good from there. Did I pass a hemorrhage in the shop? I very well could have. But what I will say is that the fire blast should be superior. Emphasis on should. Um, networking comes out. Even though like on paper it sounds really good versus servants. A lot of times they just aren't on this map at the same time. Except for like during the jumping segment, but even then... The real focus is making sure you actually kill them in the arena. Um... I almost want to try to get... Burning oil damage on the cross? I have $20,000 to do that. It's a little scary. We have poison in a lot of different other sources. Okay, first try. Yeah, I want to say the rest should be okay. Alright. Let's give it a try. Also, big welcome to everyone in the chat right now. If you've never been here before, follow the channel, subscribe on YouTube. We do roguelike content every single week. I'm going to try to do more live streams on YouTube since you all seem to like them. Of course, Twitch isn't going anywhere. And we still have all the bells and whistles on the Twitch side. All right. Put this out. Kitty Cat comes out. Acrobatic Pack on the way in. Not a good climb. That got her. Now, unfortunately, Spartan Sandals doesn't seem to knock them away except on the third hit. So we're not going to have, like, super good synergy here, but it works. Okay, that's not terrible. It's just how do I do that and not die to Cleo? Let's 
Silk Song who? Wow, this platforming segment is like awful. Dang, I meant to shoot there. There it is. What's she doing? All right, rip no hit. Just like whatever, I guess. But I just could not find like really good paths leading up. Oh, get kicked? Oh my god. It beats sick. It beats sick. I was about to say, is she not going to come down here? I got some damage. Oh wow, she got destroyed. Wait, where's Cleo? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I was going to say, shouldn't I see Cleo by now? Could have fought just then, but it's fine. It beats sick. But what does Cleo have to say about it? Ooh. Ooh. Spartans. That's the new balances, the new colorway. You all always made fun of New Balances in middle school. Now look at them. Now look at them. You wish you were wearing the New Balances. Oh, snap. Now then. You just have to fight the queen. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion the queen does not care about my shoes. The reason why there is no walls. <laughs> so I can't click I can't kick her into the wall anymore. Um I think we're fine. But it's not gonna look as good as that, I can promise you. Um everything's gonna stay the same. Disengage ammo Acrobatic pack should be good to go. All right. Do the queen achievement? I can't. Every time I try to get it, I fail. Like, and look at this. I have so much residual damage. Kitty cat. Toxic cloud. Like, obviously, just don't drop the sinew slicer. But, like, she's just gonna die to either poison or the cat. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. I've been at this for a while. I, I just never got it. I've used hand hook. I've used knockback shield. I've tried wave of denial. I've done them all. Just try it. <laughs> Oh, my turret! Oh, crap! Get yeeted? That does no damage. All right, so I'm gonna like not do anything anymore. Oh no, I still have to get her down a little bit. Ah, I tried to outplay her. I saw a hole. All right, she's got a. <laughs> Does the dog die? Dot com. 
She doesn't care. She's so focused on me. The cat's gonna kill her. Oh. Does the dog die.com? She just wouldn't do it. So the cat was gonna kill her regardless. And then I have poison on my shoes too. So like she would have died to the poison cloud. It's just so hard. I feel like you're better off like being on zero BC. Change out all your skills. So like use either double turret or grenades. So that way you can actually kill the servants. And then have like nothing else. Cat on your shoulder, the cat attacks from the shoulder. Like I might have a little bit more spacing control, but it will actually swing from your shoulder. Yeah, freezing kick, that's another good option. What were we trying to do? We were trying to kick the boss off the arena and you get an achievement for that, which is one of the, I think one of three achievements I don't have in this game. And I know you all are thinking, V, you have 2,000 hours. Why don't you have all achievements? I'm missing four achievements. I'm missing have Maria's cat kill death, which I'm pretty sure, no, I didn't have the cat for that fight. I'm missing knock the queen into the void, which I haven't been able to do it with um, knockback shield or Spartan sandals at this point or hand hook. Beat the queen with the killing deck. That one I haven't actually tried. Um, so that's pretty easy. And then I'm actually missing a hidden achievement. It's very interesting. I don't know what it is. Um, and if you were to tell me what it is, I feel like I would have already done whatever you told me it probably is. Yo, that was sick. That was legit. That was Dead Cells, all Ascent of Paths. We even had the last biome, which is Infested Shipwreck, as a cursed map. If you click it, would it show? I don't think so. Yeah, it says hidden achievement. Details of this achievement will be revealed once unlocked. Thank you, Steam. Not bad, not bad. Chat, if you like what you saw, follow the channel. Subscribe to YouTube if you have not already. I do roguelike games all the time. Big emphasis on dead cells, but of course, new things coming up soon. Oblivion Override. Blaze Blue Entropy Effect, Phantom Abyss 1.0 this month as well. Go Mecha Ball Go, that's another one that comes out this month. We got roguelike games of the Yazoo right now. Uh, but right now, we are actually going to end our Dead Cells segment. Of course, big thank you to everyone tuning in. We're going to do some Cult of the Lamb. Brand new Sins of the Flesh release came out this week. We're going to do a revisit of Cult of the Lamb, um, which I know we're going to have on the Twitch stream. I will probably restart a new YouTube live stream just so I have the footage of it. If you want to join in on the Twitch side, you can do so here. Twitch.tv slash V.me. You can actually become a follower in Cult of Lamb. You will be a literal animal in the game. It's a raffle though, so it's RNG. But still, you can become a thing in my game. But for now, thank you all for tuning in to the Dead Souls live stream. Subscribe, leave a like to the video. Actually, before you all leave, leave a like on the video. Right now, we're sitting at one Oh, we're sitting at 57 likes. If I can have like 65 likes before this ends. Just like any other YouTube vid, just scroll right to where the likes are, hit the heart button. Be fantastic. We're at 60. 
If I could get five more, I can end the live stream for Dead Cells and be happy. Oh, we got a member at some point. What? It didn't tell me who. Charles De La Cruz became an easy mode supporter. Thank you, Charles. Uh, but yeah, this VOD will be up on YouTube. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more Dead Cells and other roguelike content. Either way, I'll see you all over on the Twitch stream for some Cult of the Lamb. Have a good one, everybody.